much. Four years of drought has reshaped the water debate in Central Texas. The Highland Lakes supply water for more than a million people in our area, but they are not even halfway full thanks to the drought. In the second night of our in-depth series, KXAN's David Yeomans looks further into the issue of where the water in the Highland Lakes is being sold and how local residents feel about it. On Wednesday, we heard from rice farmers in southeast Texas who purchase LCRA water to grow their crops. Today, we examine at what expense that water comes and how it could affect the drinking water supply for one million central Texans. As you can see around, uh, on the side of the roads, everywhere, the animals are really struggling for water and for grass to eat. Ron Weindorf lives with his wife, Joan, on the northern shores of Lake Travis. I take the time to buy some bird seed and get some, some old bread and put it out for them so that they get a little snack every day. Extremely dry conditions have driven wildlife into their neighborhood in search of food. When the lake is full and doing well, the water is up to these trees right here. With Lake Travis currently 38 feet below average and 50 feet short of being full, the Point Venture and Lakeway marinas have been forced to relocate to deeper and deeper water as inlets and coves dry up. Beautiful sunshine and powdery sand. You would think we're on the beaches of Florida. But as it turns out, we're standing in the middle of Lake Travis and we should be under 30 feet of water. Some say that low lake levels caused by the drought have been made worse by controversial water releases for rice farmers. But I understand their position. They've got to make money, but we've got to live. Pat Mulligan lives in the Spicewood community and serves on the Central Texas Water Coalition, a group advocating for the conservation of the water in the Highland Lakes. When it was all set up, it was, it was a whole different community, you know, 30 years ago. Uh, now there's millions of people living around here drinking that water. The LCRA sells water to two groups. Firm customers, such as the city of Austin, are guaranteed water even in a severe drought. Interruptible customers, such as rice farmers, can be cut off in a drought situation. And because their water isn't guaranteed, they pay less. During 2011, agricultural customers used more than twice as much water from the Highland Lakes as cities used. We're doing our part. We're saving water here. That's what those guys need to do downstream. As of the latest LCRA ruling, there is currently enough water in the Highland Lakes to prompt releases this spring for rice farmers. But many are not happy about that possibility. Senators Kirk Watson and Troy Frazier recently sent a strongly worded letter to the LCRA asking the board to rescind its imprudent decision to send water downstream and stating that the LCRA's duty to firm customers like the city of Austin is unmistakably clear and yet inexplicably ignored. It's about living. It's not about uh, finances anymore. It's about survival and, uh, and drinking water for, for families in, uh, in the community. That was David Yeomans reporting. The LCRA responded tonight and in a statement, LCRA Board Chairman Tim Timmerman says, quote, as this historic drought continues, it becomes more and more apparent that we must do whatever it takes to protect the firm water supplies for the city of Austin and other municipalities. The LCRA is also holding an information session for anyone interested in learning more about what goes into distributing Central Texas water. That session is free. It'll be held on Wednesday, January 9th at the LCRA facility on Montopolis Drive. 